kids. I'm gonna have to get up in here, take that wheel out. Wee. So, let's see, first, we gotta get her up. Got her up on the stand, and it's time to remove that tire. So our big issue right now is that big honking nut. So basically what's gonna happen is first, the chain guard comes off, just to make things a little easier. That's uh, this big guy up here. Little plastic piece, couple of screws, and then that comes out. This ought to be fun. Luckily, Although I don't have the, the socket for that nut, Suzuki provides a handy dandy little emergency kit so you can do field repairs. This will at least let me get the tire off so I can, uh, you know, get it off. But first things first, I'm going to get this uh, chain guard off. So it's just a couple of uh, big honking Phillips screws. And I think I might be running into an issue that I didn't have with the 650 in that we have uh, exhaust over here. So I might not be able to reach that chain guard front screw too easy. So I can at least get this one out. Handy, handy dandy little magnetic dish which means jack diddly if your screw is aluminum and yeah as I thought I can't reach that screw but that's okay get that out of the way Woo, she needs cleaning doesn't she well there's a good reason to have towels around the shop some of this road grime and grease off of here okay I'm gonna have to get some spacers under that tire too or how about a spacer I'll put that right there Not the 2x4 I'd like, but what I have on hand. So what you do with this kit, you take this uh, wrench and uh, basically stick it in that. And that's your, that's your pull to get that, uh, that big honking nut off of there. Alright, 24 mil. Uh, the manual says it should be about 57 foot pounds. Man, that feels about right. Yeah, that's the right way. You gotta be careful because there are spacers in here to worry about too. Big stupid nut. A little spin, get it loose a bit. Get the screwdriver under there and ta-da! And then we'll just bump her out. Carefully. Make sure there's some support on that tire. You see, I already got that axle out. big spacer goes to the left and the tooth side this uh, beveled side goes to the back there's another smaller spacer on the left which I've just pulled narrow ends go in and my tire support has fallen out but whatever let me just take the chain off. And we're back out. 
Hold that chain up, don't let it fall on the ground. I'll send that board for now. Woo. And don't let any pressure get on that brake line for any length of time. In this case, I can set it on the center stain and we're good. Where's that hole? There it is, look at that. Look at that thing right there. Yikes. Picked something up and threw it out. Don't know what. But that tire got hurt from this crap. We'll see how good it'll do. That's pretty much it. Here, just straighten it up. We'll take her to the shop and see what we can do about her. gone the unorthodox route and had the rear tire plugged. That's right. Rather than replace it, I've just simply plugged or had the tire plugged because the hole was in such a weird spot and it was at an angle. I wanted to have some pros take a look at it. So I took it to a shop here in town that specializes in motorcycle tires. In fact, they're called Motorcycle Tire Center. How about that? They did a great job. And it was a great price. So I think, altogether, uh, because I had to ride on it while it was flat, it messed up the bead a little bit. Or didn't mess it up, it just kind of distorted it. So it couldn't seal on its own very well anymore. So they plugged it, checked it, and it was leaking from both beads. So they popped it cleaned off the rim and it was still leaking from one so they had to RTV it put some uh, vulcanizing rubber seal in on that uh, on the right side bead and it fixed it they also noted that there wasn't any weight on the tire so it was not actively balanced which makes sense because I've been feeling some weird vibration up around 70 75 30. <clears throat> so they did all that, 23 bucks. Ta-da! Now, if it had actually had a weight on it, I would have just plugged that sucker myself if I'd been able to uh, be sure that the hole was in a very stable, steady place and straight through. But since it wasn't, dismount the wheel, 10 minutes, and she's in. What are you doing? Oh, just back up in the traffic. That's cool. Useless.